Transporting your dog using fear-free guidelines, part two, going home from the vets. So you have been to the vets now successfully and getting ready to go home. How do you do it stress-free? Preparation of the car is essential for successful and low stress transport to the vet hospital. Similar way for it to go home. You may want to include, as before, uh, playing quiet, calm or familiar music, avoid loud startling noises and provide pheromones. Towels can help block visual stimuli and a non-slip mat or towel inside the carrier will minimize slipping and increase comfort, which will reduce fear, anxiety, and stress in small dogs that can fit in the carrier. Returning home is usually a relief for your dog, but it can also result in problems. Not many people anticipate this issue. In general, it will be sensible to provide some quiet, relaxed time with minimal stimulation so your dog, on return, can reacclimatize, get used to the home environment. Consider perhaps your dog may be too ill to interact and having unusual bandages, splints or cones like those buster collars or lampshades and for those that have been anesthetized or un unable to move freely, be sure to watch how your dog behaves and interact with other pets. If you're concerned or have any questions, you should contact your vet anytime before matters get worse. Medications used for sedation at the vets often produce sedation, unpredictable behavior, and noise sensitivity. Therefore, your dog should be allowed to recover in an isolated, safe, and quiet room until the effects of the medication have worn off. Please do check with your pet how long the medications will roughly take to wear off. It gives you a rough estimation of time and expectation. Aggression between familiar dogs can be triggered by reintroductions after a visit to the vets. This may be due to stress from the visit, scents from the vet practice, or interactions with other animals at the vets that may smell different. Regardless, it is important to have a strategy for reintroduction plan before returning home following the visit. Sometimes you can plan to have other dogs out for a walk and all out in the yard when your dog arrives home. A lot of time for your returning dog to get used or re-acclimatize before allowing interaction with the other dogs in the home. Consider having everything in place before returning home to encourage a calm, relaxed behavior from all dogs during the reintroduction and use treats if the dogs will not compete over them. If they will compete, perhaps just a quiet praise may suffice. High value toys and food treats should be removed prior to reintroduction as dogs may compete over these resources. Reintroductions should be as positive an experience as possible for all. Never use verbal or physical corrections during this process. So there's no point trying to tell them off, score them or punish them during this process. Please do not do that. Here are some extra tips that may help. Three tips. Tip number one, taking oral dogs for a short walk, getting a bit of a um, fresh air, so they're not in the same room, they can, they can be quite small and confined. Tip number two, letting the dogs meet on neutral territory. So, you know, if there's a particular dog that has got its own territory in a particular space in a house, it may not be a good idea to reintroduce other dogs in that territory. Tip number three, letting them all to get used to the home before reintroduction. The most important point is to observe the dog's body language to see if conflict is developing so you can take action to make sure a negative interaction does not occur in the first place. Most dogs are fine, but it's talking about those small percentage of dogs that may have issues when they are meeting the same, you know, their sort of housemates, so to speak, after going to the vets. Many, probably most dogs, return from the vets with no problems. However, if the condition of your dog or known interactions with other pets in the house suggest that extra help may be needed to ease the transition back into the home environment, your vet may discuss further techniques for you to do so. I hope this has given you some useful tips for bringing your, uh, your dog home from the vets. If you want to find out tips on transporting your dog stress-free to the vets, don't forget to watch the first part of transporting your dog to the vets using fear-free guidelines, part one, going to the vets. 
Comment below your take-home message from this. I look forward to see you at the next live event. This is Amity.